Hello Scorpio, so this is going to be your astrology for September, sun, moon or rising, Scorpio. Ah, oh, Scorpio, how are you doing? With all this energy in Mars, it can be really taking a toll on you physically. But Mars is set to go retrograde this September, so take it easy on yourself, Scorpio. You know, pace yourself. Hmm? Pace yourself. So... That being said, let's get to the full moon happening on the 2nd of September. This will be happening in your fifth house of creativity, dreams, even your childlike energy. So with this full moon, you're going to be looking at yourself and seeing how serious you have been about certain things. Have you been too hard, too self-critical? Have you basically not been having enough fun? And actually inviting more fun into your life, inviting more of that childlike, youthful aspect so that you can enjoy life to the fullest. Also, you'll feel pretty down during this full moon if you don't look for outlets to say, oh, okay, so this is what I'm doing that's kind of just getting me stuck in a rut. What do I need to do to actually invite more fun into my life and to bring more, you know, happiness, joy, that childlike wonder? Also, we have Neptune joining this full moon. So it's a good time to fulfill any of those creative ideas, those creative pursuits. What have you been thinking of in a creative aspect that can basically provide an income? It can be anything that you feel creatively passionate about. And now is the time to take a chance and allow for the magic to happen. On the 6th of September, we're going to have Mercury moving into your 12th house. Now, here you're going to feel like mm, a lot of your thoughts are going to be taking you into the past where you're going to be thinking of things that you need to let go. Relook at things, looking back into, okay, this needs to let go. This I need to add more into my life. What is it that I need to change up? Also, it's going to make you feel very dreamy, looking deep into your dreams, astrology, meditation, healing looking and thinking towards things that you can basically invite more healing and more peace and serenity within your life and also letting go letting go it's a beautiful time for you scorpio to actually allow for that healing to come about then on the 7th of september we're going to have venus moving into your 10th house of career and this is whether you're employed or unemployed with this energy it allows you to actually look into your heart and see what you are passionate about, what really inspires you. What do you feel you can do to basically, you know, feel loved and give more love basically with Venus? I mean, Venus is the energy of love. And it's also about our self-worth because remember, it's ruled by Libra and Taurus. So this is where you bring things into your life that actually makes you feel worthy and you feel loved and taken care of and but it's affecting your 10th half of career so you really want to look at your career and see what do i need to change <laughs> what inspires me what do i feel makes me feel like getting up and going in the morning what can i go on about and never feel exhausted that's that 10th house change that you want that 10th house energy that's saying you know what go out you deserve the best you are worth it go get those career goals all right, so that's what you're going to be doing there. Very inspiring energy and looking into your passions. It's good for the career with the 10th house there. Then you're going to have on the 9th, this Mars retrograde until the 13th of November. This is a time where you're going to have to really wind down. <clears throat> so you have all these ideas, these passions and things that you feel creative about, but you physically need to look at your health. And that's what you're going to be doing because Mars retrograde is going to want you to look at your health. It's actually where you take our foot off the accelerator and slow down a bit. And it's in your sixth house of health. So it's about, you know, even looking at past health issues, current health issues that are resurfacing. What have you been doing to your body? What have you putting, what pressure, strain, have you been putting on your body whether this is by actually doing physical work we're working in a stressful job because scorpios can work really really well or they put themselves in very difficult and traumatic relationships which also affect their health all these things that are creating pressure is really putting you in a place of really looking at your health and well-being and you might even want to change up your 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 way in which you have a routine so that you can actually put more self-care in is it breathing exercises that you need to do is it 
you know, eating healthier, all these things you'll want to implement. And, you know, this is going to be, um, with Mars, something that is going to be going on for some time into November, the retrograde. And now's the time for you to really, really look at these things. And it would be a time where you physically feel like, oh, I'm feeling a bit heavy now, <laughs> you know, and physically feeling unwell as well. So when the energy of Mars retrograde is in your health, it's very important for you to take necessary care to look at yourself and what pressure you're putting on. Because you must remember all the things that we go through, all the physical things, emotional things, they all put pressure on our organs. It's a good time now to even feel like, oh, maybe I want to detox. What do I want to cut down on? What do I want to change? And you will actually feel it because when you actually do um, in a physical activity or you have to get up and go to work, you'll feel like, oh, my body weighs like a ton of bricks. <laughs> and this is just you, you know, and the universe asking you, Scorpio, you're very serious by nature. What pressure have you been putting on yourself? And actually now's the time to release some of that pressure and take some time to self and allow the body to heal. So rest as much as you can, if you can, and when you can. Then on the 17th of September, we're going to have this beautiful new moon. And this new moon is going to be happening in your 11th house. And you're going to want to, you know, basically it's a new moon that's going to open up opportunities in a sense with the sun also being there because it's a new moon in Virgo of you wanting to reconnect to people and um, your friendships, your social activities, your community, the people that support you, joining a group, meditation, your passions. It's almost like when... This energy comes through. It's a good time for friendships and connecting to others, but in a way where you feel connected with a deep sense of purpose. And that's what you're going to be doing is actually looking for purpose behind your friendships and wanting relationships with purpose and meaning and reconnecting in that way and even allowing for new beginnings, for new friendships and new communities or networking of people to enter your life. Then on the 23rd of September, the sun is going to enter into your 12th house. Again, this is a process of letting go, releasing, looking at things from the past, um, studying astrology, <laughs> all your, you know, all, or going for a reading, all these things to basically where you want to, you know, not look so much at the physical, but you're looking more at the spiritual. You're looking deeper now into the spiritual. And that's such a beautiful place for you, Scorpio, because you're so good at that. You're so good at connecting to the spiritual so easily so effortlessly that this energy will help you connect deeper to the spiritual aspects so that you can bring your physical life more into alignment then on the 28th of september we're going to be having mercury in your first house and you're now scorpio <laughs> is where you're going to feel that you want to express yourself more you want to say what's on your mind and what's on your heart and let people know how you feel and where you stand and what you want You'll even be thinking more along this, like the thoughts of self. What can you do to improve yourself? It's all in your first house now, Scorpio, where you want to, you know, <clears throat> really own that time. Speak up, say what's on your mind, not hold back. Um, and just think in a way in which you basically are also connecting with that 12th house energy with the sun there, where you want to connect on a spiritual level in the way that you speak to people so that you come across with a deep sense and they understand the depths of you, which is not normally a thing that Scorpios do because they're normally generally very well guarded. But here you kind of like want to say what's on your mind and let people know where you stand. I want to thank you all for liking my videos on YouTube, um, subscribing, and of course, everyone for purchasing astrology readings and readings. Thank you so much.